Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. I hope you'll find this helpful. Today we're going to talk about how to create a drum fill. In order to do that we need to talk about a basic drum beat first. There are three aspects of the drum set that typically make up um, most drum beats and you'll see those listed uh, here on the side the different parts of the drum set. Um, the kick drum is a primary sound that you need the snare drum and your hi-hats so what I'm going to do right quick is just set up a very basic rock drum beat um, over uh, this SoCal drum instrument so here in the piano roll I've got my pointer tool and my pencil tool selected so I'm going to use the command key on my keyboard to be able to transform um, my pointer tool into my pencil tool so I can write. I'm holding the command key and we'll play some drum uh, kicks in there. I've got a MIDI region now. That one's a little long. Tidy that back up. So my piano roll has automatically adjusted so I can see four measures now. We'll add some snare hits in as we go on the beats that I don't have my kicks in. And then we're going to add some closed hi-hatting every eighth note. And this is just a very standard rock beat. So I've got those, and we'll save a little time, we'll highlight all of them, then we'll hold my Option key, and just create a copy of those each time I let go of my mouse, it places them, and then I get another copy. So there we go. There is a standard rock beat. I'm going to play that for you now. And if you don't like the 16th note hits on the bass drum, you feel like they'd be better as 8th note hits. It's all preference. You can just back them each up. Your call. So that's a very standard rock drum set kind of sound. Enjoy that. Live it. Love it. That's great, but that gets kind of boring if it's all that we hear in um, a drum groove. So we want to switch it up. So within the time that's already happening, a drum fill fills in spaces that are, let's say, missing. And there are a few instruments that typically make up drum fills. Those might be crash cymbals, high toms, mid toms, low toms all these different drum sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in, just in the fourth measure here, a drum fill. And I'm going to use mostly toms this time. So let's see. High tom. Mid tom. Low tom. So now on this fourth measure, and we listen to it, it's going to set up the return to the back to the beginning of the loop because we add more uh, drums to fill in that time. So here we go. So that little activity set up maybe the beginning of a new musical phrase that you wanted to add or like I said a return to the beginning of that loop in this case it just provides more interest and takes away some of the um, repetitive nature that can come in writing music in a program like Logic. Now I also for my taste would like to get rid of some of the other um, characteristics that are happening here to make even 
more diversity. I'm just selecting those and pressing the delete button. Um, we've already got the toms filled in. So let's see, let's add a crash on the left and maybe some snare rim shots. Here we go. Now let's hear what we got. Yeah, I like that even a little bit more. You hear that cymbal hanging over. That's maybe even a little more realistic to what you might have in an actual drum track recorded back in the day. So um, that's that's it. You create your general time. That's your basic drum groove that you're doing. And a fill just does exactly what the word says. It fills in that uh, missing space. But don't overuse the fill or else you're going to lose the groove that is your uh, standard timekeeping rhythm. Hope that you found that uh, helpful and enjoy that. Uh, come back sometime and learn some more.